welcome to Ham's Pokemon and today I have another three pack blister from Ultra Prism. This is the Alolan Vulpix alternative art from Guardians Rising. That's where it's from. <laughs> Go ahead and get it opened up. I'm actually on a really terrible run at the moment in terms of uh, in terms of Ultra Prism. Um, I've gone 18 packs without pulling an ultra rare. If you don't count prism stars, I have pulled one prism star card in that 18 pack run. But I recently opened an elite trainer box which had um, a shocking number of green codes, seven green codes. Go ahead there and enjoy the card code to get yourself a free Alolan Vulpix. There are three packs in this. A Dawn's Wings and two Dusk Mains. So I'm going to go with the Dawn's Wings and the Charisma first. I hope and pray that I don't go up into the 20s. Oh my goodness, why won't this open? Packs full of cards without pulling a GX. Oh. And there's the green card code, so it's not going to be a good start, that's for sure. People were talking about that Ultra Prism had stopped printing because of the pull rates, and I'm having atrocious luck with pull rates. So that really can't be a reason why they would stop. Oh, and there is a Giratina Prism Star and a Heat Rotom. So, although these are great, there are only six of them and I have them all now so um, while they are really really nice cards I need to start pulling some of the ultra rares because I don't have that many of those unfortunately because I keep getting prism stars I seriously think I've pulled more prism stars than I have ultra rares now so two packs oh and it's a white card code yay finally <laughs> Go ahead and enjoy that. Doesn't mean that it's an ultra rare though, unfortunately. It could just be a hollow. I have got, it must be said, I have had a few hollows in that time. I just haven't a neat ultra rare. So this is the 20th pack. Can it be the one to break the horrible streak that I'm on in terms of ultra rares? Snova, Glamiao, reverses a Magnemite, and no, a Rampardos. Oh, I've had this, I've got this hollow so many times. <laughs> It's better than a non hollow but I really thought that was going to be an ultra rare. This set is fast becoming just like Crimson Invasion for me. Just poor pull rate after poor pull. I shouldn't mind, I've got a Giratina Prism, so that's a great card, but... Ah... <sighs> Go ahead and enjoy another card code. Come on, Ultra Prism. Give me something. Give me something good. Haunch Crow, Monferno, Pokemon Fan Club, Gibble, Skaroopy, Lickitung, Chimchar, Persimian. My Rotom is a reverse rare. And in the 21st pack without an Ultra Rare, I get a. Oh! A Cresselia Hollow. <laughs> oh dear. I just can't get the luck. I just, I mean, it, I shouldn't be upset. It's better than, it's, again, it's better than a non hollow or, a, you know, a regular rare. Actually, really, it, it wasn't a bad blister. Um, I can't even sleep. Isn't it regular? I don't even have one. So. As you can see, Mo Rotom, Giratina, and two hollows in Cresselia and Rampardis, which is great. I do love, um, I do love hollows, but um, I really thought I was going to get a hyper rare there. Two white codes, and neither of them were hyper rare. So a good blister, <laughs> a very good blister, really. So thanks a lot, guys, for popping on by. This has been Ham's Pokemon. 
let me know the longest run that you have gone in a set without pulling a an ultra rare. I, if you don't, I mean, if I'm not counting the prism stars in this, just kind of like a break in the past, you know, pulling a break in evolutions, for instance. This is by far the longest run I've ever gone on. 21 packs in a collection without pulling one of the GXs or, you know, full arts, rainbow rows, etc. Especially with a set with so many. It's got so many of them too. So, just 21 packs now and counting. So, thanks a lot, guys, for popping on by. Please like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.